Hey guys, welcome to chessroots.com. Today I'm gonna show you a game which was played between uh, Kramnik and Magnus Carlsen in the year 2009. It's a Dortmund chess super gym tournament. Okay, here Kramnik is white, Carlsen is black. d4, d5, c4, c4, e6. Knight f3, Knight f6, Knight c3, Bishop e7, Bishop f4. In the previous round, just Kramnik played Bishop g5. So now he was playing Bishop f4, Castling e3, c5. Okay, the game was started in Queen's Gambit. Now we came Tarash D into C5, Bishop into C5, A3. The idea of A3 is simply uh, to play a more like Queen C2 or preventing Bishop A4, Queen A5. or even queen c2 rook d1 and queen c2 bishop d3 can also be played because after knight c6 they should bot b knight b4 so knight c6 queen c2 queen e5 now queen e5 is simply threatening uh, to prevent a b4 or sorry let me clear this arrows okay queen a4 is simply queen a5 is simply threatening um, to prevent b4 if you play b4 you can simply take bishop into b4 this rook on a1 is not supported play uh, if you play more like bishop d3 can play with knight b4 and queen f5 also threats to play rook d8 and maybe d4 is also one more idea so rook d1 is a normal mode to prevent to play bishop d3 or even b4 now white is immediately threatening b4 so Black should take this bishop. Played bishop e7. So after bishop e7, bishop e2, d into c4, bishop into c4. Now white just losing their move with bishop e2 and bishop c4. But in this position, I feel that is okay for white. He simply wants to castle and now all white pieces have been completely developed. Now here Carlsen uh, tried uh, knight h5, a uh, very interesting and a rare move which were, which uh, which we won't see in a top class grandmasters game. But the idea behind this move is uh, simply to capture knight into f4 and to have double bishops but the bishop on c8 uh, hardly can move anywhere so white sees that and he simply castles here after castling knight into f4 e into f4 now white have um, two open files and at one point he can play a more like f5 and tries to open this bishop on c4 maybe so we play g6 now uh, they to prevent f5 and to play bishop f6 and to play bishop g7 maybe g3 here uh, white is just waiting for um, black's reply black here have so many options so he was just waiting to see what uh, how this bishop is going to be developed 
now you cannot play a more like e5 or even you should try a more like b6 and bishop b7 to play that the screen is a uh, little bit misplaced so it's just waiting for black's reply and black played rook d8 an interesting novelty which was never played before rook into d8 queen into d8 and rook d1 bishop d7 the only logical continuation is to develop with the bishop is bishop d7 now here white played an interesting exchange sacrifice by playing uh, f5 the idea of f5 is simply um, to open this bishop on c4 eyeing for f7 maybe and the other if you take with g into he can simply play queen d2 attacking d7 and can have queen h6 maybe knight g5 uh, <sighs> mm. so he took with uh, g into f5 if he takes with uh, takes with j uh, maybe f into white can simply play a more like uh, queen b3 maybe attacking this f7 and if you support with queen e8 you can simply take bishop into f7 queen into f7 queen into f7 queen into f7 king uh, or queen into f7 queen into b7 is much much uh, better i think queen into d7 queen into a8 so so he took with g into f5 queen d2 was played queen b6 there is no queen into d7 now because of rook d8 queen trap queen h6 now he cannot play more like queen to b2 for example then you can take rook into d7 queen into c3 rook into e7 can also be played if you take uh, knight into e7 knight g5 is winning if you take queen into f3 you can simply take rook into b7 or maybe bishop into rook into e6 is also good so uh, so he played bishop e8 now knight g5 threatening queen h7 so bishop into g5 queen into g5 king f8 queen h6 check king g8 uh, queen g5 king f8 now just scrambling checking whether uh, Carlson is ready to uh, play for a draw or a win so here he changes his move and played rook d6 mm, just his idea is to take with uh, maybe rook into e6 or bishop into e6 mm, here mm, I think uh, Carlson played a mistake by playing queen c7 uh, after queen c7 queen uh, h6 king e7 queen h4 check uh, there is no queen into king into d6 because of knight b5 check loses the queen so king f8 queen h6 check king e7 knight b5 
queen a5 is forced b4 knight into b4 or else uh, if you play more like uh, queen b6 rook into e6 uh, he is winning for white for example queen b6 rook into e6 f into e6 queen into e6 king d8 queen d6 bishop d7 bishop e6 knight b8 queen f8 bishop e8 queen f6 is a checkmate so he played knight into b4 now Kramnik played a good move with rook into e6 check f into e6 queen into e6 king d8 queen f6 check king c8 queen into f5 check just uh, he can just now take uh, a into b4 but he's just uh, there is no more options for uh, black so it simply took the pawn queen f5 king d8 and again repeat supporting the a1 square such that sorry a1 square such that he can take with a into b4 king c8 a into b4 and now um, Carlson resign in this position in view of uh, a heavy material loss for example uh, if you play queen d8 simply bishop e6 check bishop d7 queen c3 check king b8 queen e5 check king c8 queen c5 check so king b8 is forced bishop into d7 you cannot take bishop in queen into d7 simply there is a check on queen c8 queen f8 check queen c8 is only more queen d6 check queen c7 queen into c7 check so this was a very good game uh, played with by Vadmik uh, Kramnik in Dortmund Super GM tournament in the year 2009. Hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next class.